to get back and working onto the cars. This is definitely not something you want to put in your car. This bending like a dream. A full 90 degree bend. How's it going guys? Welcome back to another episode of Stream Power Toys. Today we're going to be working on the Subaru. Finally we have some time to get back and working onto the cars. Here we have Alan on the back trying out that lift. So for today's plans guys is we're going to go ahead and take out the engine again. Engine and tranny. We need to work on the tranny mount and we still need to do a couple of welds on the engine mount. And today we will be opening the tube bender and hopefully this tube bender doesn't let us down and gets the job done. Alrighty, so we have the engine out. Here I'm gonna show you guys the things that we still need to work on. We still need to weld the opposite side of this. And we need to cut a little bit here because the uh, oil pan is uh, touching this. And here, under the, under the car, where the tranny needs to go up, we still need to trim a little bit of this, a little bit of this, and a little bit on top so it can go completely to the top we're gonna go ahead now and open this tube bender and see what it's all about like I said before, hopefully it doesn't let us down we have been set back a long time for a tube bender we actually got two, two of them were not a good quality and kept broken on us breaking, sorry, so let's go ahead and open this one and the bender is assembled already. Let me just show you guys. It looks pretty good. Took us like 30 minutes to get it completely assembled. Uh, we still need to uh, bolt it down to the ground. That way when we're starting to do our bends, it doesn't want to move from the bottom. Here we already did uh, a bend. Well, here you have, I know, don't laugh. This is just a temporary uh, mount for the tranny that we did to to bring the car over but this is definitely not something you want to put in your car so here we have the first 90 degree bend that we did already this is bending like a dream a full 90 degree bend now we're gonna go ahead and figure out where we need to measure so we can know where the bender is gonna make its turn so we can kind of create the uh, transmission mount so the idea is we're gonna keep this bottom plate right here and the idea is to make two 90s and make like a U so the pipe is gonna come from down here 90 and then it bolts to the car to the chassis of the car and then the same thing here 90 and it bolts to the chassis of the car so let's see if we can figure out this it's our first time using this tube bender or any tube bender at all so let's go ahead and give it a try guys and see what can we get out of this Bam, that tube bender works like a dream. Right there you have it guys. We, we were able to make two 90s and made like a U. Now the only thing is we're gonna be a little bit tight with the boat, but we think once we cut them, we can still make it work. 
Yeah, it looks close, but I think I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe we need to make another piece. We're gonna try not to, but let's let's see what happens. Hello guys, it's day two. I'm really sorry. Yesterday my camera decided it to die on me, and we really kept going because we wanted it to do the uh, tranny mount already, so we can go ahead and get our measurements for the shaft. And I couldn't record anything of that. I just wanted to do a real quick recap today of everything that went down and show you guys how the man came out. And here in back of me, I have the the two bender. Actually, guys, this one is a really good deal. It works like a dream. Now we will be able to continue working on the hash also. Bring it down a little bit so I can lock and we're good. Let me get some light from my phone real quick so you guys can see more or less. So actually what we did is we bolted onto the original uh, bolt that holded the, the original Subaru tranny mount. So we took advantage of that and actually made this really nice tranny mount. And if you guys remember on um, I believe it was either part one or part two, I don't remember now uh, what part was it, that the hood we didn't have enough clearance so the hood can completely close now we do have the clearance since we raised the tranny a little bit more now we can just close the hood completely and let me show you guys here inside where the shifter landed I mean if it did not land it right where the other one was it landed really 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 close but if you guys take a look at that it landed I have my seat right now my seat is completely back and if you can see here's the four original bolts that hold the the boot that covers this the rubber boot so this is like right in the middle of it so everything is going smooth and everything is lining up how we wanted it to now we're gonna go ahead, we have everything tear apart. Uh, we did open a couple holes here so we can be able to fit the RB26 tranny that we still need to patch up and start running our whiting. So I just wanted to make that quick video guys just to do a real uh, recap. I'm really sorry again my camera died. So that will be everything for this video guys. We were able to mount that. Uh, next video will be working on cleaning up the engine bay we're gonna take the engine out again start cleaning the engine bay uh, get rid of all the cables the original Subaru uh, cables that connected to the engine and start trying to figure out our engine whiting for the RB26 that we have there actually we have two set of whiting so we're gonna go ahead and from the two of them try to make one and again guys bear with us here we have never done this before, we're gonna go ahead and give it a try, do some research on the internet, and try our best to get this engine running as soon as we can. We order a couple more parts, we have injectors, rail, uh, exhaust manifold coming in, so we can continue and do more work and get this bad boy running as fast as we can. Thank you guys so much for watching, subscribe if you like the content, I will see you guys in the next one.